If you grow up on the streets of Newark in the projects and have drug dealers as role models, chances are very high that you'll either end up in jail or get caught up in gun violence and die young. The statistics in New Jersey are alarming. Most of the prisons are filled with young black men. So I chased this to Newark where I met with three former prisoners, Issa, Shahid, and Deshaun. They're part of a prisoner re-entry program at Ironbound Studios in Newark, and they're trying to change their lives around. Although they fit those stats to a T, they're trying to make a difference. My role models were uh, drug dealers. That's what my role models were. What did you learn from them, or what did they show you? Um, they taught me how to get fast money. They taught me how... <laughs> Um, to do what I wasn't supposed to do. I wish I would have had a role model telling me to do something right, but everybody was teaching me everything wrong. They gave me a tour of their workspace, which is a million dollar building, film studio, where TV shows are actually filmed. They're paid $10 an hour, and they put up the lights, fix the sets, and move around the equipment. Kenneth Giffords, he's the director of Ironbound Studios. He was appointed by Newark's mayor, Louis Quintana, to also head the office of Newark film and television and his purpose is to bring in jobs to Newark and raise Newark's profile in films but he's chosen to hire ex-prisoners so I asked him why them why not they're they're residents they're people who deserve a second chance me and these gentlemen here grew up on the same side of the tracks we grew up in the same neighborhoods we just took different paths what's interesting about these guys is that they, they've really tried hard but because of their criminal background they can't find work anywhere I filled the applications for Walgreens um, Walmart, Stop and Shop, all the applications I filled out, I got the door shut in my face for what I've done in my past. I'm grown now. What I did in my past as a child, I don't have to do now. I'm trying to do something different. I asked Issa, you know, how do you help young black men in New Jersey? How do you help black men? By giving them jobs for, and opportunities for they won't have to sell drugs. I think this is great. Redemption is such a key principle in America. And, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit concerned at what the rules and laws are outside of a program like this that they couldn't get a job at Walmart or McDonald's or whatever these other companies are. But I love this. I think this is an important, important project. Redemption is key in America, but also so is, is punishing people, uh, you know, whether that's a good or bad thing. I agree. These are jobs people want. This is, sounds like a job that I would have wanted early on in my career. Um, you know, I went to school for many, many years mm -hmm. and applied to probably hundreds of TV-related jobs, also in the film industry, and got turned down over and over and over again. So it sounds like these guys are really trying to turn their lives around, but I don't know if they deserve these jobs. I love to see these guys getting their second chance in an industry that allows them to work hard and move up. I, th I think it's a great example.